What's up guys? Isaac checking in. And today I'm going to discuss the question, how can you keep a conversation going on forever? It's a question I get asked often actually. And it's a question that I feel obligated to answer because so many guys have problems with it. And I'm someone who's quite proficient at conversational skills. So why would you want to keep a conversation going on forever anyway? Well, you have to understand that your conversational skills your ability to communicate with people is one of the most important skills you're going to develop in your life. The reason being is you don't walk through this life by yourself. You don't walk around on earth by yourself. You have to communicate with other people. You're going to have to persuade people, influence people, negotiate with people, talk to people, win people over. It's a life skill that you must muster. And so many people struggle with it. Why? Because they were never taught it. They never had the opportunity to actually develop it. Right? So I'm going to slow down or cut that learning curve for you and give you the jewels, right? So, how to talk forever? First of all, it's a paradigm shift, right? Because so many people have this idea that in order to talk forever, they're going to have to come up with some elaborate stories, some cool shit to say, and all this stuff. In reality, being able to talk forever is more about your listening abilities than your speaking abilities. It's more about how well you can listen than what you're saying. Let me explain. When you're in a conversation with someone, what a lot of people don't understand is that if you listen to someone, and if you listen well, they drop off plenty of hints that can help you navigate a conversation. It's like a thread. When you're talking to someone, they might mention something here, they might mention something else over here, something else over here, something else over here. It's like a thread, right? or the economist key breaks off. And if you've got listening skills, you're able to pick up on each individual topic and navigate the conversation in whatever direction you want. Okay? I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm at the bus stop, right? Let's say I'm a young man, I'm at the bus stop. And a beautiful young girl sits next to me. I'm like, oh damn, she's looking cute. I want to talk to her. I might say something like, damn, are these buses always late? Then she might reply, yes, the other day I was waiting 20 minutes for a bus. You hear that? The other day I was waiting 20 minutes for a bus. It's the first thing. You don't have much to work with there, but that's one thing. She's waiting 20 minutes for the bus. Okay, 20 minutes. Then you can say, oh, where were you headed? See, you took that one thing and you went with it. You rolled with it. And she might say, oh, I was headed to the library. You say, oh, the library. Okay, she's headed to the library. So she's going to the library. Why is she going to the library? She could be a student. She's obviously returning books, or maybe she's borrowing books. Maybe she's a writer. Four things you can roll off. Okay, you're heading to the library. Are you a student? Then she goes, yes, I'm studying psychology at the University of Amsterdam, or whatever the fuck, right? There she goes. She's studying psychology at the University of Amsterdam. And this is where you can shine, baby. Ask open-ended questions, especially when they drop something big like that, like, I'm studying psychology, or when they say that I work at the council or something. You can ask, oh, do you enjoy that degree? Or what do you enjoy about it? Or what inspired you to take up that degree? You see what I mean? If you have the listening ear, you can take the conversation and roll with it, right? You can talk to anyone and people will love you for it. I've been in so many conversations in the past where I would just be there chilling with other person's talking and I'll be putting in remarks every now and then, asking open other questions and they just keep talking and talking and talking. And at the end of the conversation, like, wow, you're a really great guy. You know, that was a great conversation, blah, blah, blah. And they want to get to know me, right? Well, I didn't do much. All I did was listen and just go off the threads. It's a skill that many people don't have. How many times have you been in a conversation with someone and they were just cutting you off? They weren't letting you say something. You want to say something, but they were just cutting you off, going off tangent, bringing up random shit. It's not the best feeling, is it? How many times have you had a conversation with someone where they just listened? Listened and gave you all their attention. It's pretty rare. So if you can do that, if you can have that skill with people, if you can listen and be able to be interested in the conversation, ask that open-ended questions, people will love you for it. I've been in the situations where I've been talking to grandmas, grandpas, random people that I would sometimes have no interest in or no connection, as in like, they're Whatever they do in life is completely different to what I do in life. And I'll still be able to communicate. I'll still be able to vibe with them and connect with them. 
because of that one paradigm shift, being able to listen and then navigate a conversation through the threads that they drop. So that's a very important skill for you to have. Take it, practice it, roll with it, and fucking, I don't know what else you're going to do with it. Till next time, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you. Peace.